So, I mean, what is sugar anyway? There's so much information out there about sugar. There's so many names for sugar. Do you ask yourself if, if one sugar is healthier than another? Should I avoid fruit since it has sugar in it? Will avoiding sugar really clear up my acne, help my mood swings, or help me sleep better? Well, friends, we're going to talk about that today. But first, let me just tell y'all, the course is live. Healthy Habits Blueprint is live and available for you and is going to cha change your lifestyle and get you healthy for good. If you are a busy mama, this is for you, okay? Are you ready to build the sustainable healthy habits that stick? Are you struggling to lose weight? Have no time to focus on your health and need a plan that fits into your busy schedule? Well, let me tell you, this simple blueprint, uh, three-step blueprint, will partner your mindset, overcoming obstacles, and building a sustainable, healthy habit plan that you can actually stick with. So three steps. First step, we overcome obstacles and distractions. We will uncover the reasons you are stuck in your health, weight, and wellness goals so that we can get you where you want to go. Step two, we identify and replace bad habits. Together, we identify and replace the bad habits that are causing your health, weight, um, lack of energy, stress, and frustration. And then in step three, we're going to turn all this around. We're going to build sustainable, healthy habits. And we'll set daily actions that create consistent change over time that actually fits into your busy schedule and helps you reach your health and wellness goals. So, head on over to jennifercobel.com forward slash course. The first three people that grab this course are going to get the discounted price, $50, to $50 off discounted price. After those first three, the price goes up to $297. So, y'all go ahead and head on over there and get your course. So, let's get started on the podcast. Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Project. If you're ready to finally commit to lifelong health, feeling better, and improving your mental and physical health for good, you're in the right place. Hey, I'm Jennifer Kogel, a nurse practitioner, certified functional medicine practitioner, boy mom to three, and wife. I have a calling on my life to transform the way that you view and experience healthcare because I believe that traditional medicine is leading people astray. We don't need to give a pill for the ill. We need to empower people to have a true lifestyle transformation, both internally and externally. And most importantly, commit and be disciplined to the process. It's time for you to go against the grain to get to optimal health that is going to have you feeling incredible. I can't wait to create a true lifestyle change with you. Let's mandate vegetables and tackle this project together. Did you know, fun fact for the day, Americans consume an average of 126 grams of sugar a day. That's 30 teaspoons a day of sugar. Now, the World Health Organization recommends six teaspoons for women who have a normal BMI, if your BMI is um, higher than obviously they recommend less. Okay. So let's just say this. Let's talk about this. Our sugar and our health. We are built to seek out sugar. Sweet flavors tell our bodies that a food is quote unquote safe to eat versus bitter, which signals to our body it's quote unquote poison. That's how our bodies were programmed long, long, long time ago when we had to, you know, go forage for food, okay? Um, sugar breaks down into glucose and fructose, which can be stored as fat for times when food is scarce. Well, these days, that is very rare when food is scarce, 
okay? I didn't say healthy food, I just said food. So whether that's um, food from the gas station or food from the grocery store or fast food, just food in general, okay? Our ancestors faced famine at times and food shortages, so they ate large quantities of carbohydrate-rich foods, which they could um, store for later so that they could survive. That was a survival mechanism, okay? This, my friends, is what we call survival of the fittest. It's a survival mechanism that God designed in our bodies to help us overcome food shortages. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it, sugar is available in abundance, abundance today. Yet we can go buy a five pound, five pound bag of sugar from the grocery store. But we are still programmed to seek out um, the, the sweet stuff, the good things, the carbohydrates that we need to survive and thrive. Okay? So repeated intake of these excess sugar levels lead to things um, like Alzheimer's disease and other memory issues like dementia. Um, it leads to high blood pressure. It can increase your triglycerides. Both of these together can lead to heart disease. Um, definitely more likely to have cavities if you have a high sugar intake. Um, a high sugar intake uh, enables you, I'm sorry, takes away the ability for your body to realize that you're not hungry anymore, which leads to chronic overeating. And chronic overeating eventually leads to obesity. Okay? Sugar disrupts the gut microbiome and can affect your immune system negative, negatively. Now, the gut microbiome, I've not done a, an episode on this yet. I haven't decided if I want to. If you want me to, send me a message at support at jennifercobel.com. But here's the down and dirty. Our gut microbiome is the good and bad bacteria in our gut. And there's a very healthy balance in there. Um, you know, when we're younger and as we get older, if we eat more sugar, then we feed more of the bad bacteria and the bad, the bad things in our gut and that can adversely affect our digestion. Um, so there's the, the down and dirty of that, but our gut microbiome also has an effect on our immune system. So if our gut microbiome is out of whack, then we could see frequent like illnesses or frequent colds or frequent flares in your eczema or your psoriasis or um, other diseases. Um, over abundance of sugar can cause inflammation and inflammation is an underlying cause of many chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, um, high blood pressure. <laughs> there's, there's a common theme going on here. <laughs> and then sugar also replaces nutrient dense calories, which can lead to vitamin deficiencies, even if your calorie needs are met. So this means like you can go eat like a double whopper and fries and a milkshake and your calorie needs are met but the vitamins and minerals that your body needs are not in that Big Mac and fries and milkshake that you just ate. So repeatedly eating like that deprives your body of the vitamins and minerals it needs. Um, excess sugar intake increases your risk of cancer. Excess sugar makes us fat overweight, obese. It causes us to eat and eat and eat. We don't have a cutoff mechanism. Um, it can contribute to insomnia. Uh, it can contribute to allergies, whether that's environmental or um, like contact dermatitis type things. 
it can definitely, definitely contribute to ADD and ADHD symptoms. Okay, so that is, and when I when I'm talking about sugar, like refined sugar. Okay, not naturally occurring sugars. Now let's talk about natural versus added sugars. Natural sugars are found in fruits and vegetables more so fruits, and the sugar content increases as the vegetables ripen. So even though you're eating the sugar, you're also taking in vitamins and minerals and fiber and antioxidants, which can help reduce the spike in the blood sugar that can occur when you eat sugar. So if you eat an apple versus just a teaspoon of sugar, your um, blood sugar will go up quicker with just the teaspoon of sugar versus the apple that has the fiber um, in it if you eat the skin. Now, fiber also helps us to feel full longer because it is um, difficult to digest and without fiber to slow down the digestion, foods that contain the sugar um, are more likely to be eaten in excess. So think about eating five apples versus five cookies. Like you could eat those five cookies with no issues. The five apples would be a little bit more difficult, okay? Now I just wanna give you an idea of foods that may contain added sugar. This is definitely an area where you want to look at the ingredient list, not just the nutrition label, but definitely the ingredient list. Um, so foods like Plant milks such as coconut and almond milk, cured meats like bacon and prosciutto, deli meats for sure, they not only have sugar but also salt, uh, kombucha, um, condiments like ketchup and barbecue sauce are a huge sugar pit. Um, there's actually a ketchup out now, I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's like a veggie ketchup and it's actually very good. Um, I used to eat ketchup all the time on anything, didn't matter. Um, and I've swapped over to that ketchup and I can't really tell that big of a difference. Um, so there's that, look for that ketchup. Veggies only, no sugar. Uh, protein powders are definitely a culprit for added sugars. Different types of sauces are a culprit, huge culprit for for um, sugars, canned soups, cereals and granola bars. Y'all, granola bars are basically just um, candy bars, like legit just candy bars, and yogurt. Um, <laughs> you would not believe the amount of sugar that's in yogurt, so, or added sugars that's in yogurt. So in those 10, foods that we just talked about. I would definitely look at the labels and just see what is in them. Like just pick it up and say, oh, like, oh my gosh, there's like three different sugars in this one. Yogurt, like that's crazy. Like you associate yogurt with being healthy, but yet it has all the sugar in it. Okay. So just an idea to look at your ingredient list and be cognizant of how much sugar you're taking in in these types of foods. Okay, so main takeaway for today is that I want you to check your food labels, be aware of the different names of sugars like maltodextrin, glucose, fructose, maltose, brown rice syrup, corn syrup, malt syrup, high fructose corn syrup. That's just to name a few of the different ones. I think there's like 56 different names for sugar. Um, you know, like I can't memorize all of them, but let's just go back to that five ingredient or less rule that I talk about a lot. Um, that if it has five ingredients or less, then it's probably okay. Um, it probably doesn't it probably doesn't have these sugars in them, okay? And the third takeaway is to avoid um, artificial sweeteners as much as you can, okay? So only sugar from fruits 
um, and vegetables that have the fiber with them. And that is what I have for y'all today. And I'm on a sugar kick right now because sometimes sugar is my BFF. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I have a problem with that. And I'm going to admit that because the first step to uh, recovery is admitting that you have a problem, right? Not making light of any situation. I'm just saying, I know that sugar can be my go-to to treat my feelings and my hunger. So I wanted to share this information with you so that if sugar is your go-to and you think, well, I'm not going to eat any more sugar at all. Like I'm completely cutting it out. Well, there are these culprits, these little culprits that you might have in your refrigerator or in your um, freezer or your pantry that you don't realize have that has sugar in it. And you're just like, why am I having cravings? Why am I having cravings? Well, because you still have sugar um, in your diet. So I hope that you enjoyed this very educational, y'all. I just pull out straight education on this one. There was no like, no entertainment, just education. Next time we're going we're gonna to have some entertainment. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, I want you to go ahead and head over to jennifercobel.com forward slash course and be one of the first three to snag the Healthy Habits Blueprint course for the discounted price. I cannot wait to talk to y'all again. Send me a message at support at jennifercobel.com if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions for episodes. And I will talk to y'all again soon. Bye-bye. Real quick before you go, if this podcast has blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is to head over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe to the show and leave me a written review. Can't wait to hear from y'all. 